Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In today's session, I'm going to show you one of the ways to optimize your Power BI desktop. So, before we start, let's watch my intro. I have here my Power BI desktop opened, and this is connected to my local SQL server, and it is connected to AdventureWorks Data Warehouse. I have here in my model the FAC reseller sales and the dimensions that are connected to this FAC reseller sales. Now I'm going to expand FAC reseller sales, and if you notice, I've got three date fields in this table, namely the due date, the order date, and also the ship date. And also, this date fields has the date hierarchies in it. Now, this is the default behavior of a Power BI desktop that is just installed. Now, what I wanted to show you is what is happening in the background. I'm going to go to my external tools and launch my DAX Studio. And when the DAX Studio has opened, you will see in here the tables that are in my model, which is the fact reseller sales and the dimensions. Now, in addition to those tables, we have other tables that are named local date table with a GUID attached to it. What are this? These are the tables that are connected and pointing to the date hierarchy of all the date fields that are in my model. Now, look at this. I'm going to refresh the metadata and I'm going to go to the Advanced tab and go and view the metrics. I'll just go to the Summary. Look at the size of memory that this report is using, 11.19 MB. Now, there is a setting that is in Power BI Desktop that I would suggest we turn it off. And this will make a difference in the size of the memory that your report is using. Where can we find this settings? It's in the file, options and settings, options, and under the global data load, look for time intelligence and tick that auto time for new files. Do that as well under the fi current file, data load, and also under the time intelligence, auto date time. Once I hit OK, look at the date fields that I have in my fact reseller sales. The hierarchies are gone. Now, going back to the DAX Studio, I'm going to the so that was 11.19 MB. I'm going to view the metrics, go back to the summary, and look at that 2.75. That is a big difference, and that will make your report faster to load because it's using a small footprints in our memory. So, in summary, turn off that settings. You can find that under the global and the current file, time intelligence, auto date time. That will definitely make a huge difference in the performance of your Power BI desktop report. I hope you've learned something from this session, and I'll see you next time. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.